Hi, I'm Teacher Michael again and welcome to Science 9, 4th Quarter, Week 5, Law of Conservation of Mechanical Energy. Law of Conservation of Mechanical Energy You learned that moving object possess energy. Whatever its state, whether it is at rest or in motion, object possess energy. Kahit nakatigil siya o gumagalaw ang object na yun, o ang mga object ay may mga energy. Can energy be conserved? You will learn in this lesson or module the transformation of energy from one form to another in various activities or events like in waterfalls, amusement parks, and the like. You cannot do anything without energy because in definition, energy is the capacity to do work. We cannot do work without energy. You exerted energy while you are, you are sitting, while you are walking, or even while you, are, while you were sleeping. One form of energy is mechanical energy. There are two kinds of mechanical energy, the potential energy and kinetic energy. The first type of mechanical energy is the potential energy. It is the energy at rest, meaning to say, any object at rest has an energy, and that energy is what we call potential energy. Potential energy has two kinds. We have gravitational potential energy. It is the energy possessed by an object because of its location or position. For example, a book on top of the table, car parked on a ramp. So, any object that is in position or in location, it has gravitational potential energy. The second type of potential energy is what we call the elastic potential energy. It is the energy stored in a stretch or compressed elastic material such as a spring. For example, the spring on the handle of a pinball machine has more energy when compressed than when in a relaxed position. This elastic potential energy is the stored energy when a certain elastic material is being, is being compressed. Example, the spring. When it is compressed, it has more elastic, elastic potential energy than when it is relaxed. Another um, elastic material is the rubber band. When the rubber band is stretched, it has more elastic potential energy. The second kind of mechanical energy is the kinetic energy. If the potential energy is the energy in energy at rest, kinetic energy is the energy in motion. It is the energy possessed by an object by virtue of its motion. Example of which are bullet in motion, stream of flowing water, rock falling of rock falling of a cliff, roller coaster, or any object that is moving. It is possessed or it possessed kinetic energy. For activity 1, write PE if the statement below illustrates potential energy and KE if it is kinetic energy. 5 points. For number 1, a yo yo before it is released. So, bago ma release yo yo, what kind of energy it has. Is it potential energy or kinetic energy? Number two, picture frame hanging on the wall. What kind of energy it has? Is it potential energy or kinetic energy? Number three, a boy running on the field. What kind of energy it has? Is it potential or kinetic? Number four, moving air. What kind of energy it has? Potential or kinetic? Guide question. What kind of mechanical energy is, is it illustrated in numbers 1 and number 2? Number 2. What kind of mechanical energy is illustrated in numbers 3 and number 4? The law of conservation of mechanical energy states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. So meaning to say, an energy cannot be created and cannot be destroyed. The, uh, what, whatever energy and object it has, it's still there. It will, it will kept maintained or it will well maintained and well kept and still there. 
it is just that that energy possessed by that object is being transformed or converted to another kind of energy. Let us take a look at this pendulum. In pendulum, at point A, the potential energy of the pendulum is maximum because of its height, while the kinetic energy is minimum. So, if an, um, when the pendulum moves at point A or at point A, its potential energy is maximum because it is in the pendulum is in its maximum height remember if an object throws upward and once it reaches its maximum height it eventually stops since that object stops that its potential energy is in maximum so like in pendulum since the pendulum in point a or once the pendulum um, moves in point A or in the position of point A, it already reaches its maximum height. Therefore, it suddenly stops. Since it suddenly stops, its potential energy becomes maximum. Since nakatigil siya at hindi siya gumagalaw, ang kinetic energy niya ay minimum or zero at point A. When it is released, the potential energy from point A to point C decreases because of the decrease in height while the kinetic energy increases. So from point A going to point C, eventually, um, continuously, its kin potential energy decreases. So mababa uh, ang kanyang potential energy, but its kinetic energy decreases. I mean, its kinetic energy increases. So mean again. So from point A to point C, its potential energy decreases, but its kinetic energy increases. At point B, the kinetic energy is now maximum, while the potential energy is minimum. So in this point, once the pendulum is in this point, it's the pendulum's kinetic energy is maximum. So, but its potential energy in point P is in minimum. Then finally, when it reaches point C, the potential energy is again maximum, while the kinetic energy is minimum. So, once it moves to point C, its, ma its potential energy is again maximum. Tapos ang kinetic energy niya ay mababa naman or minimum. As the pendulum moves continuously back and forth, the height reach decreases because of friction until it eventually stops. So, when the pendulum is continuously moving or continuously moving, its maximum height decreases eventually until it stops because of the friction because of the friction in the air when a body is raised to a certain height the gravitational energy increases and when it is released the kinetic energy increases so meaning to say if, an, if the pendulum moves on its maximum height its potential energy or the gravitational potential energy increases Pero once it released from that maximum height, its kinetic energy increases naman. The mechanical energy in pendulum. At point A, when the pendulum is in point A, its gravitational potential energy is in maximum, while its kinetic energy is in zero because um, when the pendulum moves in point A, it reaches its maximum height, it eventually stops. So therefore, its potential energy is maximum, and it's while its kinetic energy is in minimum or zero. But when the, of the pendulum moves in point B, its kinetic energy is in maximum. Mataas ang kanyang kinetic energy, while its potential energy or gravitational potential energy in that point B is in minimum. 
and one, once the pendulum moves to point C, its gravitational potential energy or its potential energy is maximum again, and its kinetic energy is zero. Based on the conservation of energy, all the potential energy is converted to kinetic energy upon reaching the ground. So in the pendulum, it is just the potential energy is converted to kinetic energy and then from kinetic energy, it is converted to potential ener energy. So though no energy is being wasted, it is just being converted to one energy to another form of energy. The total mechanical energy of an object is equal to the sum of the potential energy and kinetic energy if friction is negligible. So to get the total mechanical energy of an object, we have to sum the its potential energy and its kinetic energy. So total energy is equal to potential energy plus kinetic energy or Te is equal to Pe plus Ke. The unit of energy is Joule or J. For activity number 2, you can do this simple activity on pendulum. Identify the positions where kinetic energy and potential energy is maximum or minimum. Procedure. Fill in the table below with the value of potential energy, kinetic energy, and total energy. Refer to the figure of the pendulum on the right side. So this is a pendulum. So at point A, its potential energy is 50 joules and its kinetic energy is zero. Remember, at point A, its gravitational potential energy or its potential energy is in maximum while its kinetic energy is in minimum or zero. So at point A, its total energy is Pe plus Ke or what's the potential energy of the pendulum at point A, that's 50 joules. What is the kinetic energy of the pendulum at point A, that is 0. So, 50 joules per 0 is equal to 50 joules. Therefore, it's the total energy or total mechanical energy of the pendulum at point A is 50 joules. For, for, uh, for activity number 2, you have to answer this the total what is the total energy of the pendulum at point B and the total energy of the pendulum at point C at point B its potential energy is zero and its kinetic energy is 50 joules remember at point B the the kinetic energy of the pendulum is in maximum while its potential energy is in minimum so um, given this value of potential energy and kinetic energy, what its total energy? And at point C, what is the total energy of the pendulum at point C if its potential energy is 50 joules and its kinetic energy is 0? Activity number 2, continuation, guide questions. At what point in the pendulum is the potential energy maximum? Is it point A, point B, point C? You can have two answers. At what number two? At what point in the pendulum is the kinetic energy zero? Is it point A, point B, or point C? Again, you can have two answers. Number three. At what point in the pendulum is the potential energy zero? Is it point A, point B, point C? Again, you can have two answers. Number four, at what point in the pendulum is the kinetic energy maximum? Is it point A, point B, point C? Number five, what is the total mechanical energy of the pendulum? Using the table that we have, um, that you have answered for activity number two, you have to get its average um, total mechanical energy to answer the total mechanical energy of the pendulum. And number six, describe the law of conservation of mechanical energy. What does it state?
For your activity number 3, refer to the diagram below. Write the value of the potential and kinetic energy at different positions if the air resistance is negligible. So, the total energy is equal to PE plus KE or potential energy plus kinetic energy. Example, at point A, PE is zero. The potential energy of the um, of in point A is zero, while its kinetic energy is 300 joules. So, what we're going to do is to answer this one and this one. Okay? So, in this point A, its potential energy is zero and its kinetic energy is 300 joules. So, meaning to say, in point A here, in this equation, its kinetic energy is in maximum, which is 300 joules, while its potential energy is in minimum, which is zero. So, the object in point A here is moving. Okay, is in motion. So, going up here, once it's reached its maximum height, that's the point B. What if its maximum, once it's reached its maximum height, therefore, it eventually stops. So, it has a maximum potential energy. For that reason, its value here is 300 joules so therefore if the if the object in point b its potential energy is in maximum what will be the value of its kinetic energy and going here at point c so as like the position of point c and position of point a is just the same okay so meaning to say from um, from here going here so the object once it moves to C it is in motion okay so therefore its kinetic energy is in maximum while its potential energy is in minimum so using those value you have to identify which is 0 here and which is 300 For your activity number 4, are you familiar with hydroelectric power plant or the hydro power plant? Dam is used to, for our water sources or it is a water reservoir. So aside from water reservoir, dam is also used or can be a source of what we call an energy or an electricity. So meaning to say, the water that be is that being um, reserved or contained in a in a dam can be used as a source of another energy, which is electricity. So there is a, what we call a built of a kind of a power plant. That is what we call the hydroelectric power plant, wherein the flow of the water from the dam is being used to turn a certain turbine. The turbine is being connected to the generator. So once the, tur the turbine spins, the mechanical energy on that spinning turbine is being converted by the generator to become electrical energy. And that electrical energy will be a source of the electricity. So that is what we call the hydroelectric power plant or the hydro power plant. For activity number four, fill in the blanks with the appropriate words. Select from the given choices in the box. So these are your choices: water, energy, hydropower, electricity, and kinetic. Hydropower is using blank to make electricity. Water constantly moves through a vast global cycle, evap evaporating from lakes and oceans, forming clouds, precipitating as rain or snow, then flowing back down to the ocean. When flowing water is captured and turned into blank, it is called hydroelectricity. 
magnetic power or black. There are several types of hydroelectric facilities. They are all powered by blank energy of flowing water as it moves downstream. Turbines and generators convert the blank into electricity, which is then fed in the electrical grid to be used in homes, business, and by industry. Hydroelectric power plant makes use of the kinetic energy of the falling water in producing electricity. This type of power plant is major source of electrical energy in the country. The power plants in Ambuklao and in Binga, Binga in the mountain province, Angat in Bulacan, Caleraya in Laguna, and Maria Cristina Falls in Iligan, in Iligan uses hydroelectric power. Short quiz. For five points, encircle the letter of the best answer. Number one, which of the following is true of conservation of energy in a closed system? Letter A, kinetic energy is always conserved. Letter B, potential energy is always conserved. Letter C, mechanical energy is always conserved. And letter D, total energy is always not conserved. Number 2. The mechanical energy of a system of objects is or the, the, the total mechanical energy of a system of object is letter A. The sum of kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy. Letter B. The sum of kinetic energy and elastic potential energy. Letter C. The sum of kinetic energy and all relevant forms of potential energy and letter D, the sum of all forms of energy. Number 3, mechanical energy is not conserved when letter A, gravitational potential energy is converted to kinetic energy letter B, kinetic energy is converted to gravitational potential energy letter C, kinetic energy is converted to elastic potential energy and letter D, Friction is not negligible. Number four. Which event illustrates the direct transformation of potential to kinetic energy? Letter A. A basketball player catches a flying ball. Letter B. A kalesa moves from rests. Letter C. Katy's arrow is released from its bow. And letter D. The spring mechanism of a toy is rotated until it locked. Number 5. If mechanical energy is conserved in a system, the energy at any point in time can be in the form of letter A. Kinetic energy B. Gravitational potential energy C. Elastic potential energy D. All of the above Reminder, answer activity 1, 2, 3, 4, and short keys. 30 points. Good luck! Thank you for watching and listening. Have a nice day.